Welcome back in this uh, video series on uh, uh, CCNA basic routing concepts. So in the in the last video, which was uh, part two, I covered how to configure um, static routes and also uh, did a, 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 some troubleshooting of uh, routing issues. So in this video, what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna cover how to configure. Uh, routing protocol in this case it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna configure EIGRP but first before I start uh, configuring EIGRP uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, show how to use a, a default uh, route so we can also use a default route for example if you have um, only one way out in this case the uh, router 3 can only go out through Router three, you can use a default route uh, instead of um, a routing protocol or a static route. So we'll, we'll configure a default route from router three, which should enable it to communicate out to any other router. So we'll start by removing the um, static um, uh, route we configured on router three, and then we'll put in its place, we'll put a, a default route. So we'll go to router three, and find that um, static route that we put in there. So we can do show run, and then a pipe will include the IP route, and that's the route, the static route we put in there. To remove it, you can do config t to go to go to um, configuration mode, and then in here we'll do um, no, and then we'll type that that route. IP route 192, 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
now we shouldn't have any so I do route now I no route back to router one and on this side we can on router one you can remove the static route as well. Show one. I should remove it. Should I do out? So we don't have um, route two, route three. In this, we do a ping and ping route three. And two, two, one it should fail. Okay, so. Next thing to do here, we'll configure the uh, routing protocol. To, to check if you have any routing protocols configured, you can do a show, show IP protocols. And nothing is showing up. So to configure EIJFT, we go to we do config T, and the, the command is router EIJFT. Can use session map to see what options you have. Just an auto autonomous system. We use 100, and it has to match with all the routers you want to uh, you want you, you want to form neighborship with. So the next thing here we'll do is configure the network, which enables tells it where to enable EIGRP. In this case, our subnet is 192.168.1. So we'll use that. And then the mask for slash 24, which is 00.000255. So there's the app arrow and see type, if you type in the, uh, show IP protocols. It should tell you now that you have EIGRP 10. Uh, show you the uh, router ID and the networks it's routing for, which is where it's enabled. It's 192.168.1.0. Okay, so we'll do the same thing on uh, router 2 and on router 3. So this on router 2. We'll configure our EIGRP. It's going to be 100. So for the network, what we'll do is we'll enable it on all interfaces. And to do that, you just uh, we do use all zeros. As you can see here, you have a neighborship formed with the router one on uh, gig, gig zero zero. And the adjacency is up, so you can actually type show IP EIGRP neighbor, neighbors, and you can see here that we are from from the neighborship with a uh, router one. Okay. Um, so the next router to be configured will be router three. We can do config T. Um, in this one, we'll configure router EIGRP, EIGRP, hundred network. Um, Seven two six dot zero dot zero. It's a slash, it's a slash twenty four dot root dot five two. And there you have a neighborship with the with the router two. So you, 
if you look at the routing table, just write the route. It should have run the 192.168.1 from router 2. Let's see router 2. That's the network we learned about. And then here you see it says D. If you look at the codes, D stands, stands for EIGLP. Now if you try to ping uh, router 1, which is 192.168.1.1, Two should be successful. Okay, um, so that pretty much covers the basics of it. I'm not gonna go into the detail, uh, other details of uh, EIGLP. Um, this this is all the, the um, that's all. This is all that's required if you need to configure EIGLP and, and get it up and running in Exchange Routes and. Uh, uh, be able to uh, communicate with the distance um, uh, routers. Um, so uh, I can cover one one other item that that shows you um, where you're getting information for a given route. So say for instance, so yeah, sure, sure, I give out. So you know you're getting 172.16.0.0 via uh, router 2. You, you, in some routers you might have so many routes and that, that a command might give you um, a lot of output, a, bit, uh, a long output. Another way to check if you have a, uh, a route on your routing table, you can do show IP route. And and then you can say EIGLP just to see what routes you're getting from EIGLP. That removes all the connected and static ones. And if you have like OSPF or BGP, it's going to just show you EIGLP. And also, if you want to see a route to a specific destination, you can say show IP route. And then let's say you want to find out about 160.0.0. Let's say 10, no, router 3 in this case. You can just say show IP route, and then the actual um, address where you want to go to, and then it's going to give you details for that uh, network. It says it tells you that it, it knows it via it knows the route via uh, EIGLP 100, um, and then where the uh, last update was from, which is router two. Which interface it learned it learned it from? How long ago it learned it? Um, what else? So, one other command you can use to see where what inter interfaces you have EIGLP enabled. You can do uh, show IP EIGLP interfaces, and this tells you in this from this router you have it enabled on. Gigabit zero zero. If you use the command on uh, router two, it should give you more than two interfaces where you have it configured. Okay, and that's that's it. That's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll I'll try and cover how to use a uh, OSPF uh, to exchange routes. So I'll see you all in the in my next vi video. Thanks.